We got our top three plays for you. Check them out. Number two. Number one. The Cavaliers are in a tight battle after two quarters. They decided to make a statement in the opening half, and they did it by throwing down dunk after dunk after dunk. I think the rim is still shaking. These are the guys getting buckets for the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Celtics are within striking distance at the half. And that deficit is a negative, of course, but I do see a positive. I really like how they move the ball, keeping each other involved offensively. They've got a nice flow to their game today. These are the guys getting buckets for the Boston Celtics. Game track. Steals. So very aggressive defense has allowed both teams to rack up a lot of steals. Ball security will be the key in the upcoming half, especially for the weakest dribblers. You know who you are. And here we have a look at the first half stats. Player of the half. The chosen one has been incredible around the basket, doing everything necessary to dominate on the boards. And for the stat geeks, here's a look at his numbers. We're moments away from the third quarter. Mike and Jeff are ready to call the second half action. Rozier, the coach on the floor. Ball comes loose, and it's a turnover. One of the keys to winning in this league is not beating yourself. Both teams seem determined to beat themselves rather than their opponent. Puts it in, a three-pointer. And here's another look at that three-pointer. Hey, this is a results-oriented business. I'm not crazy about that transition three, but it went in, and they got the hoop they needed. There's the double team. Sets up the J nicely with the step back. Rebound handled by Horford. Turnover. Terrific anticipation by Hill. James. Tied up. Has to make that pass. Sends it to the corner. Smith on the drive. That's a three-pointer. The defense nowhere near him. Can't hit the three. Close games are decided by made open jump shots. Tie game here. Missed shot. That could come back to Hunt. Puts it up. Horford shot, misses the mark. Forced to make the pass to the rim. Nice move, just won't get it to drop. Terrific feed with the runner, and J.R. Smith with a rebound. Gets to the rim, flips it up and in. Terrific look from LeBron James. Good defense translates into good offense. Here, secure the rebound, finish your defensive possession, and then get out and go. Take the ball to the basket, get an easy opportunity, reward your hard work on defense. Shut down, forced to make the pass. Kevin Love with his fourth assist of the night. Sweet stroke on that shot, Mike. It looked good as soon as it left his hand. The drive straight to the basket. That's good. A two-pointer. You're not going to see a better possession in the NBA from both sides of the ball. Good defense, good offense. Good offense won out that time. Tied up and has to pass. It's a loose ball. Smith draws the double team. Unable to flip it in. To keep a team in sight, 
You've got to make sure you protect the basket and contest shots. And now he moves around the defender. Aggressive play, takes the hit and puts it in off the glass. Nice work getting into the paint to finish. Here's the screen. Love. In the paint. And after the foul, he'll get to the line. He's fouled. Great effort by the defender trying to slide over and take the big time charge. Instead, hit with a blocking foul because he was just a count late. Able to convert on both free throws. Horford. Three minutes gone by in the third. Boston's down by three. Quick decision and gets rid of it. Out of bounds. Ref says it'll be Cavaliers ball. The Celtics get the inbound. Here's the isolation. Pretty little pass. Kicks it back out. Throws it up from deep in the corner. This fires from beyond the arc. Hey, that's a tough shot, but I'd rather have a good player take it. Sloppy play. Gets it up for two. Oh, he knocks it down. Keep pushing the pace in transition, even in a close game. Get the ball in your best decision maker's hands and let him. Here's a steal. To Tatum, he shoots. James the rebound. Oh, terrific feed. Goes to the goal. The Cavaliers with control on the rebound. adjustment soft touch gets the roll and here's the replay with another look at that great finish at the rim third quarter in the books Boston's down by one Stay with us for more Mother's Day basketball after the break. Brought to you by ESPN. Tough to get a feel for this one as we head to the fourth quarter. Jeff, what are you looking for? Mike, this is what most NBA games come down to. Hotly contested and close. The team that can withstand the heat and the pressure and continue to execute at both ends will come out victorious. Oh, he turns it over. They couldn't have picked a worse time to cough it up, Mike. Puts it up for two. Tatum shot no good. When you have a numbers advantage, you don't settle for a contested two-point jump shot. You've got to get the ball at the rim or get an open jump shot. To Horford. Gets up on the shot and passes it out. We're down to nine seconds on the shot clock. Here's the pick. Sweet dish. On the drive. Banks it in. What a move. Nice pick and roll. Good pass. Catch. Finish at the basket. Great look. No time for a lapse of concentration on that dunk. Just put it home. To Horford. Pass intercepted. What was he thinking on that play? Who was he trying to pass to? Double team closing in. Wide open for... It's good on the catch and shoot from Kevin Love. Can you say too easy? He is sitting there, open at the three-point line, and knocks it in. Excellent ball movement around the perimeter. Hey, watch this 
Oh, excellent screen. Oh, quick move, gets inside. To the rim. Can't connect from close range. Paint shots will kill you down the stretch of close games. And he Euro steps his way to the basket. James misses again. Hey, they're just fortunate that that shot missed right there. You've got to make it harder on them. Gets inside. Rozier's attempt off the backboard, no good. Tremendous job making it difficult to get to the basket. Nice move. Looking to go end to end. Gets it to go. Nice play from LeBron James. You're not winning late in a close game playing that type of defense, allowing the ball to go up there. Puts it in and draws the foul. That's an inexcusable play. You do not foul softly. You have to foul hard and prevent the basket. To give up a basket and a free throw, that's bad. It's the free throw. Three-point play complete. A minute and a half remaining in the fourth. The Celtics down by three. Final minutes, every possession crucial. To James. Shot clock says 12. And he slams it down through contact. What a play. And one, a trip to the line. Wow. You make mistakes like fouling softly late in close games, you deserve to lose. Able to hit the free throw, and it's a three-point play. It's a loose ball to Love. Inside to the basket. Just won't go from point blank range. That's the mark of a great defensive team. Great. Play. What a finish on the excellent pass from Al Horford. You got to get your guy down the floor in transition quicker than they can get back. If you can rebound it and then get it up the floor, you're going to have numbers to exploit those basket opportunities. Attack the rim. Don't settle for jumpers. Finish strong. Quick move to get inside. Gets to the... Oh, clutch shot. And here's another look at that solid finish at the rim. Whistle blows, timeout here late in the fourth. When you're in a two-possession game, you don't really need to do anything special to get back in it. All you need to do is execute out of the timeout, get a score, and then have your defense lock in and lock down, get a stop, and then get out on the break. The Celtics get to inbound. Here's the switch. Takes the three. Knocks it down. Three-point game. And here's the replay with another look at the three-pointer. To Smith. As we wind down this game, timeout called here in the fourth. The strategy is simple right now. You come out of the timeout, you execute, you get a score. And then you have to trust your defense. No unnecessary fouls, just get another stop. And then go out in transition, get out on the break. And the rebound taken by Thompson. Three-pointer won't go. Fires for three. Nails it from downtown. 
And here's another look at that three-pointer. Decides to pass. Bad turnover. That's the last thing they needed right there, Mike. A critical mistake. Oh, what a pretty shot from George Hill. Three-pointer from way outside. Rozier's not able to hit the three. And that'll do it. The playoff run ends here. They lose in the conference finals. No NBA Finals this year. There is nothing more devastating than losing a deciding game in the Conference Finals when your chance of advancing is only 48 minutes away. Hey everyone, it's Jalen Rose, and it's time for the EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Cavaliers have every reason to celebrate right now, but they know their job isn't done till they made friends with that Larry O'Brien trophy. They'll be representing the East on their way to that goal. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Celtics. We're hoping for a different postseason future. But now it's about what ifs of the past. The reality of the all season is now upon them. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Boston Celtics. Game track. Three point shooting. Each of these teams were solid with their long-range shooting. So by extension, they were pretty poor with their perimeter defense. Closing out on shooters must always happen, whether you're tired or not. When you look at the game stats, you definitely get a more complete picture of this matchup. Player of the game. LeBron James played the role of facilitator today, and no one is more happy than his teammates. And here we have a look at the stats. Who was cold? Every player that makes it to the NBA is a great athlete, but even the best players have their off nights. Today was just one of those days for this guy. Here we go with the top plays. Number two. On EA Sports. I'm Jalen Rose. Thanks for joining us.